Hi, this is John with TechNection, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use or how to work with our Tevi image sensors that we have. So we have uh, several different image sensors in this family. The TEVI image sensors all come with the built-in um, ISP, and a little chip on the back here. Every one comes in the same 24.5 by 24.5 millimeter form factor. Every one has a 70 millimeter or sorry, 70 pin uh, connector on the back, 70 pin Hirose connector on the back. Um, each one of these can plug either directly into our development kits right here in one of these, in one of these uh, sockets, um, or uh, they can plug into a special ribbon cable that we've developed uh, that comes with our camera EVKs. Uh, you can plug the camera into this. Uh, we actually pre-assemble this um, if you purchase this as an EVK, we pre-assemble this with a camera um, and you plug the, turn that right side up, you, you plug the CPU side into that. Um, that goes into the development kit. So we're gonna go ahead and very quickly assemble a camera. This is the, Te the Tevi AR0521. It's a five megapixel image sensor uh, rolling shutter. We're just gonna go ahead and, and, and uh, assemble that. Get it lined up properly, just press it. You'll know when you're there. Uh, don't press it if you don't think you're aligned. And then this side gets plugged into the development kit, but we will need to, <laughs> we will need to turn that off before we do this. So I'm gonna go very quickly and turn that off. And just plug that on there. I'm gonna use this port. I'm just gonna let this thing hang out over here there we're going to turn the thing on and we're going to use a device tree overlay to inform uh, the kernel and Linux uh, that uh, this particular image sensor is connected. So I'm going to set env dt overlay if I can spell it correctly <laughs> tevi-ar0521 save and that's all you have to do. Let me show you why this works. So if you just do a fat LS MMC one, I'm booting from the micro SD card in this case, you'll see a bunch, if you're using one of our default images, you'll see a bunch of these uh, device tree overlays. Um, in this case, you're looking at this right here, um, up here, uh, these are the device tree overlays that correspond to the Tevi image sensors. Um, since we're putting in the Tevi AR0521, I can copy this, we have a, a a bootloader macro, a U-boot macro that completes this whole file name and loads this file as long as you give it this. So that's what we've done. I can just print ANV DT overlay. I can see it set right there and you can go ahead and boot. So we can go ahead and let this thing boot up. All right, you can see that it recognized the image sensor Okay, so let me go ahead and log in and we can uh, run a video stream. So let's just check it. GST-launch v4l2src device equals slash dev slash video zero. I'm gonna pipe that to auto video sync. All right, so we see our image sensor stream here. This is, I think, at a default to full resolution. So uh, 2592 by 1944. So uh, if you want to see the other resolutions that are there, you can just do GST device monitor. And it'll go out and probe all of the potential audio and video capture devices. So I can see here that it found my image sensor device and it, a bunch of different uh, formats, but uh, the main resolutions that we support are 2592 by 1944, 1920 by 1080, and 1280 by 720 uh, at 30 frames a second. So uh, if I want to change the resolution, I just provide it with a caps filter that says this is, that uh, essentially it informs this element, the uh, upstream elements in the pipeline the resolution that is being requested by the downstream elements. So if I say video, uh, video slash x dash raw, and I say the width, 
equals, let's just to do the full resolution here, height or the, the full HD resolution equals 1080 audio video sync. All right, and we can see it's a little bit of a different uh, aspect ratio format. If I want to do 1280 by 720, all I do is I change the width and the height here. All right, so same thing, just a, a little bit of a scaled down version of the full HD. So um, now we're gonna use a different image sensor. I have these two here. One of them is a two megapixel image sensor. This is the Tevi AR0234. That's a two megapixel image sensor. And what's a little special about this one is it's a global shutter image sensor. Uh, and then this is the Tevi AR0144. This is also a global shutter image sensor. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut the machine off here, shut the system off. I'm going to disassemble this image sensor. And I'm going to put the 234 on there, AR-234. Oops, come on. <laughs> I'm trying to do this while looking through the viewfinder of the camera. There we go. All right, so plug that on, largely by feel, <laughs> which you can do. All right, now go ahead and switch the system back on. All right, I need to change my device tree overlay again. So set NV DT overlay Tevi dash, this is the 234 dash AR0234, save and boot. All right, so you're looking at the, the console port data right here. Um, this is just connected to the UART on this board right here in this connector. It found the 234 sensor and we should go ahead and just be able to start a video stream here real soon. All right. So I'm just gonna page up here and I see how I have a number of different commands already in the uh, command history buffer. I'm just gonna go ahead and run this one. So we can just see this is the image sensor data that we have uh, from, the, from the unit. If I just wanna go gst-device monitor, Again, to be able to probe the devices that are there, um, I can, and then it'll tell us what the resolutions are that are supported. So I can see that I support 1920 by 1200, and then full HD, and then 1280 by 720. Um, so those are the ones that are uh, available there. And then if I want to do the, um, the one megapixel image sensor, I certainly can. So let me just go ahead and turn the system off here. And disassemble this one, being careful not to torque it too much using a little bit of, of wiggle back and forth um, actually does the job pretty easily. Let's go ahead and plug that one back on. I need to go ahead and change the device tree again. City NV, DT overlay, Tevi dash AR0144. That's the one megapixel sensor. Save and boot and wait for that to boot, and then we will see. There we go, go ahead and line that up while I'm waiting. There we go, uh, the AR0144 was found. Root, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. Um, I'm going to eliminate this caps filter and let it pick the default resolution. You can see we have that right there. This is all good. And just to run GST device monitor again, just to see which resolutions are actually supported. This can be very helpful because if you pick the wrong resolution, if you have a caps filter and you pick the wrong resolution, it'll give you a, a rather um, uh, nebulous error. So this one is 1280 by 800. So if I wanted to do that, I can just do 1280 by 800 and it works. If I try to change this to something that's not supported resolution, it'll, it'll error, but I'll show you the error. It just gives you an internal data stream error. It doesn't tell you a lot. <laughs> it's pretty non verbose. So if you ever have a, a question here about this, um, go to back to GST device monitor and see what you can get. 
um, and make sure that this resolution is agreeing with what you're setting up um, in the pipeline. Oops, oops, ha, <laughs> see? There we go. So now we're set. Okay, guys. Thanks very much for your attention. Hopefully this uh, helps you understand a little bit about how you know fairly simple it is to work with our Tebby image sensors. I'm John Weber, see you next time.